Hello everyone, this is Kristen of Kristen McPhee Nutrition and Herbs in Marquette, Michigan. And I wanted to spend a few moments today talking about adrenal insufficiency syndrome or adrenal fatigue. It's thought to affect about 67% of the population and its primary cause is stress, especially when it's chronic or prolonged um, or severe. But there's also other factors that can contribute to adrenal fatigue, such as environmental toxins, poor nutrition, poor sleep, um, an overuse of stimulants such as coffee, medications, and even addictions. Um, and it's important to catch early because when it goes unaddressed for a long time, um, women can develop menstrual cycle abnormalities and all of us can develop an elevated risk of metabolic syndrome, adult onset diabetes, cancer, and heart disease. So the early signs and symptoms are generally that you're going to feel kind of foggy and low energy, um, throughout the day and you need caffeine to keep you going um, and you may be craving salt or salty foods and that you feel your best around 6 p.m. and then you may even develop a second wind around 11 p.m. So those are early signs and symptoms but there's also some routine lab tests that can be done by either your primary care or by a nutritionist and those are to have your sodium and potassium levels tested and then you can calculate your own sodium and potassium ratio and if you find that it's under 30 that can indicate that your adrenals are functioning suboptimally. And then the other test is to have an adrenal stress index test done, which tests your salivary cortisol levels and your DHEA throughout the day. In terms of nutrition, you basically want to make sure that you're including healthy fats, healthy proteins, and healthy whole grain carbohydrates at every meal, and that you're aiming for six to eight servings of vegetables daily. The most important recommendation for those that have adrenal fatigue is to ensure that you're having breakfast before 10 a.m. and that your breakfast is low glycemic um, and supports regulating your blood sugar balance. You also want to have an earlier lunch, a midday snack, and then an earlier dinner um, finished by 6 p.m. so that you're able to um, prepare yourself for bed around 9.30 p.m so that you're in alignment with the circadian rhythm. Um, and then other specifics in terms of nutrition are that you really want to limit fruit in your diet, but avoid it in the morning. Um, and that's especially important for fruits that are high in potassium, such as bananas, raisins, dates, figs, grapefruit, uh, and oranges, including orange juice. Those can actually make adrenal fatigue symptoms worse. You also want to avoid sugar, especially refined sugar and stimulants as well. So it gives, so you can allow yourself an opportunity for the adrenals to heal. Um, the other good recommendations are just moderate exercise is beneficial, and then obviously since stress is the primary cause, you want to work to reduce key stressors in your life, but also develop good tools that work for you on managing stress. And in terms of supplements, um, the ones that I would recommend are a sustained release broad spectrum B complex as well as a sustained release vitamin C supplement. Um, a B complex are, is important because when we're under stress, our body is using more using up more B vitamins and if you're not eating whole grains and, get, and getting six to eight servings of vegetables daily then you're likely already deficient in B vitamins and then lots of us are not getting adequate vitamin C in either um, and that's important because the adrenal glands really love vitamin C it utilizes a lot of it for just basic function and a good at-home remedy that you can do is to add a pinch of Celtic sea salt into your filtered drinking water and drink that throughout the day. And that's because the trace minerals in sea salt will support your adrenal function as well. So those are my key tips. I hope that that 
helps. And if you have any specific questions, feel free to reach out to me below or through my website. It's www.kristinmcphee.com. Thank you. Bye.